on this episode of Cars and Coffee Exposed. It's imports, Chevy-powered Fords, and a Harley in disguise. Raz, this thing is insane, first of all. It looks amazing. And I learned something new today. So with a VW, you've got a motorcycle engine in here? Motorcycle engine and transmission. I didn't know that was possible. Can you explain, please, expound? Well, everybody does the Volkswagen drivetrain with the Harley engine. Uh -huh. So I wanted to do something different. So I went with a Harley motor and transmission with a jack shaft with an S10 rear end. So it's kind of complicated, but it's really not. It's very complicated. So like in layman's terms, does that make it faster? Does that make it? Well, uh, the original Volkswagen had about 55 horsepower. Uh -huh. So the Harley engine's pushing about 80. So okay. That's a lot when you got so little to start yeah. with. Yeah, absolutely. Do you race it? No, no. I just got it just to I mean, it's really shot. cool though. Yeah. So this thing, I'm sure, gets a lot of attention. Yes. Are, you've been in some magazines, I hear. Yeah, uh, the latest issue, a Rat Rod magazine, issue 63. Um, so I'm in that. So tell everybody at home, what is a Rat Rod exactly? Well, my opinion of a Rat Rod is you build with what you got. Ah. Or, you know, and then you trade off stuff. and It's not really going to a store and buying something. Right. I mean, for instance, I got the bug out of a cow pasture. Mm -hmm. Pay 200 bucks for it. Okay. <laughs> and then I sold the engine and transmission for 200. So I was back to zero. So, I mean, that's kind of what it's about. You know, okay. you just kind of, you know, it's one man's trash is another man's treasure. You know what I I'm saying? I love so, that. I love so that's that. that's uh, basically how it is. And uh, the engine, I built a drift track, mm -hmm. traded the drift track for a golf cart, traded the golf cart for the donor, Harley Davidson. So, I love this. Are you Facebook market placing it or what? How are well, you finding all this? I do sometimes. But, uh, I got a lot of buddies that. <laughs> okay, you know, you're just. I yeah. got you. I got you. It's so cool. I mean, you're. Is this your first coffee and cars in Augusta? Yes, it is. Yeah. Um, I, this will be my first, but definitely not my last. Yeah. So, what do you do for a living? Is this what uh, you do? Are you a mechanic? No, uh, I actually work in logging. So. Okay. With your hands. Uh, no, with my hands on the joystick. <laughs> <laughs> well, it took a lot of skill to do this. I mean, it, are, have you done it by yourself? Yeah, um, well, I had some help from a couple of my friends. Uh, mm -hmm. Todd and Lee, they helped me tear. That was the hardest part, tearing the motor and stuff out of this mm -hmm. and out of the uh, Harley Davidson. Right. But building it just kind of came easy. Amazing. What was yeah. the inspiration behind it? Well, I, I built a, a golf cart. Um, well, kind of a golf cart, rat rod, mm -hmm. go kart. Okay. And kind of the same concept. Uh -huh. uh, the engine running down to the tra to the rear end mm -hmm. and uh, run it that way. Mm -hmm. And so that was, I was like, well, if that works, then I can go this way. Yeah. I, did, I didn't want to do it the traditional way mm -hmm. with the uh, Volkswagen drivetrain. So right. I went with the jack chain. It's pretty impressive. How long did it take you to build it? I worked on it about a year. Wow. So, yeah. So what are you going to do when people start asking you to build these for them? Well, I'm not in the market for doing that. You know what I, mean? I, I just, I like to do it for myself. And, I love it. You know, I don't mind helping out my Rat Rod family. You know what I'm saying? I so, love that. Yeah. Okay, well, Rat Rod family, you need some advice. You know who to come to. This is Raz, and we're here at Coffee and Cars in Augusta. Thanks, Raz. Thank you so much. Badass car. Thank you.
Spencer. And Spencer, I've been dying to talk to you. First of all, thanks for hanging around. We really appreciate you. So you Miata guys are like a different breed. Yeah, <laughs> we are. I mean, you're literally like a cult. So tell me, what makes the Miata so special? Uh, just everything about it. Yeah? The, the way it the handles? Head, the headlights, the handling, the all of it. So the headlights are the sleepy headlights? Is that what it's called? Uh, that's what they were originally, yeah. Ah. We put it back to the normal ones. OK, OK. You've only had it since February, so I know you haven't got to do all the cool things you want to do to it yet. Now, this car was a result of you, I, I heard you wrecked your last car. Yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Um, I, was, uh, I was in the turning lane to pull in uh -huh. and uh, got blind spotted. Oh, so when your fault? It was oh, technically. Okay. Gotcha, uh, gotcha. Truth's coming out hate, now. Hate to, <laughs> hate, hate to announce that. But. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> but we got something better and more unique. And what have you done to it so far and what do you plan on doing to it? Got the wrap, the body kit, <laughs> uh -huh. uh, put new headlights. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's pretty much all we've done for now. Because you haven't had that long, right? Since yeah, like February. February yeah. Okay, awesome. So I'm excited to see what else you're gonna do with it. If you need help with that interior, I know where you can get some. I'll, I'll, we'll be in touch. Um, <laughs> but it's a cool car. And I know that this is like a community thing for you guys. So you, you get with other Miata owners and you guys like geek out about Miatas. Yeah. yeah. And you're gonna do an engine swap too, right? Yeah. Didn't you tell me? Yeah. yeah. Uh, in the future, we will be swapping a, a K24A into okay. it. So, okay. Yeah. All right, well, good luck with that. Thank you. Thanks so much for sticking around, talking with us, and it's nice meeting you, Spencer. You too. <laughs>my name is Derek Pepin and I'm from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. So this is my uh, 1992 Nissan 240SX. Um, it's pretty slow, but um, it drifts and it's uh, pretty solid. Uh, I'm pretty into like a Japanese street like culture and um, I was a big Toyota guy prior, but um, like in West Japan, a lot of the guys have some really like uh, flamboyant cars and they're really like good at sliding and I don't know, the flare is really up there and I, I, I think like having an S chassis and trying to mimic that over in the States is kind of nice. Because a lot of people don't really uh, have it. It's a lot of 350Zs and stuff, so when they see a 240, everyone kind of respects it. It's not too common to see like a four-cylinder, like low horsepower, um, like car driving around the tracks, especially since the tracks here are not low horsepower friendly. A lot of longer courses, so. Well, my father, he's a big uh, like uh, V8 guy. Uh, he's got a 69 Stingray and um, a Dead Smasso Pantera. And as a kid, he was always wrenching in, the, you know, in his garage and in the shop. So um, I used to just take peeks and slowly just kind of got into it from there. I like seeing all the Japanese cars that line up. Um, to me, I have a lot of friends here. So um, since I'm always busy working, I, I like to enjoy my weekend and see the guys and just hang out.
He my communicated goodness. with the lottery tickets. Oh my goodness. And now he's giving big tickets. I love it! My, my favorite uncle gave me my first lottery ticket and he just passed. Aww. Um, a little oh, while ago, so. I know, yeah. not crazy! I love it! Well, nice meeting nice you meeting all. You. Take care. I and and what was them all, so. what, what's your name? Dottie. Dottie. I'm Susie. Susie, I'm Chelsea. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice gorgeous. to meet you. Thank you. You too. You too. Hey, I'm well, 61 years old. Honey, you working it. You are working <laughs> it. <laughs> it's so nice meeting y'all. Beautiful car. Thank you. <laughs> Cindy and Cindy, I, I looked at this truck and I thought it's a Chevy. It's got it's got a Chevy grill on it, but it's not. No, it's a Ford. It's a Ford, okay. And what year is it? It's a 1940. 1940 Ford. 1940 Ford. And it has a 350 Chevrolet under the hood. So you're partially okay, okay. going off a little bit. It's a hybrid. Yeah. The best of both worlds. I love it. I love it. So tell us how you and your husband built this, right? Yes. So Bevan's Garage, that's, is that That's business? my husband. Okay. Um, his grandfather had Bevan's Garage many, many years ago in Maryland. Wow. So we started building the trucks in honor of his grandfather. Oh, I so, love that. Yeah. And so tell me, I mean, did you, it, was it a junkyard fine or where, how did it come together? It actually, a friend of ours, we've been showing our tow truck for a while and a friend of ours had this in pieces. And he called me up and he's like, look, I can't do it. I want to get rid of it. I want you to buy it. And I'm like, eh, I don't know about that. Well, just so happens, my father passed away and he was born in 1940. Wow. This was the day after he passed away. <gasps> so it was a sign. It was a sign. So yeah. I told my husband, I'm like, we got to do it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so glad you did. So we did. We, we went and picked it up in pieces. It was in boxes. The fenders and the hood and all the the tailgate and everything came in boxes on the back of a trailer. And we put it together. You guys put it together. Yes. How long have you been working on cars? I have been working on cars since I met my husband 43 years ago. <laughs> brought you into brought the black hole of the car in. world. Okay. Yes. I love yes. it. I love it. Yes. It's beautiful. Well, thank you. Are you going to do anything more to it? Is it done? It's never done. <laughs> <laughs> it's never done. It never um, is. No. How fast is this thing? I have not had it over 55. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Plan is safe. Plan is safe. safe. <laughs> but it does have a, a race motor in it. It does. It does. So yeah. how many horsepower? Good question. Good question. That's for the next interview. <laughs> <laughs> we'll ask Jim when Jim. Ask Jim when he comes up for the tow truck. I love it. I yeah. love it. Well, we're so glad you brought it here today yeah. for us to take a look at. It's gorgeous. And um, one of a kind. So, yeah, con uh, congratulations on your build. How long did it take for you guys to build it? About five years. Wow. In the process, though, um, we bought it in July. And in October, I decided I didn't want to live in Florida anymore. Mm. And I decided that we were going to move to South Carolina. Okay. So, so we had to put everything on hold. Okay. Until we got a house and a garage and yeah yeah so it's been in your so garage you've been tinkering, been tinkering away at it, at it for the last five years i love it yeah well great job on it well, thanks thank Sadie. thanks a lot thank bevin's you. garage bevin garage and we do have t-shirts <laughs> she's got shirts we have shirts go support you guys <laughs>
Like this show? Want more? Then head to WatchPTTV.com, the new 100% free PowerTube TV streaming network. Home of the best classic and new motorsports racing and build shows on the web.